So Stuart, congratulations on your appointment as interim head coach. Well, Thank when you. When did you find out? <laughs> uh, officially, um, not too long ago to be very honest, but uh, obviously over the last few days it's been a um, bit of activity going on behind the scenes and uh, I've had a, an inkling, but uh, no, nothing official until this morning really. <laughs> and you've obviously been involved in for a long time with the age groups and the Saxons. How excited are you to have brought a lot of these players through now to actually coach them at senior level? I think it's just, it's, well, first of all, personally, it's a fantastic opportunity. It's an unbelievable honour, privilege. Uh, and, uh, you know, having come from, you know, being a PE teacher in school and working through the grassroots system and, and everything else, you know, to actually get here is, is unbelievable. To do it with, with um, two coaches I respect and admire, you know, is it, fantastic. But also to, to do it potentially with a, a young squad, hungry squad, talented squad who want to win things, I think uh, is even more exciting. I'm fortunate in my role as the union, you know, as the Saxons coach that I've coached quite a few of the current squad and hopefully, you know, some of the potential future squad. Um, and that alongside working with the under 20s, the under 18s, the regional academy programme which I run, you know, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a fantastic opportunity and uh, very, very excited about it. You mentioned the young squad, a few leaders have retired recently, I think of Lewis Moody and Steve Thompson just the other day. How important is it you identify some new leaders really quickly in this team to, to carry forward in the Six Nations? Absolutely, I mean, you know, leadership you know, is the backbone of any, any team and uh, you know, leadership from the management, leadership from the players, uh, and in my, my mind, you know, uh, it's crucial. So, you know, I've got my thoughts on it, but you know, my predominantly will be spending my time with the directors of rugby. You know, I haven't been a director of rugby, I think. They hold the knowledge of the players, you know, they, they understand the players, they see them day in, day out, and, you know, obviously I'll take on board their opinions, that'll be my first, first job, really. Um, but, you know, establish a leadership group uh, and get uh, um, my own thoughts and the other coaches' thoughts into, into that leadership team, but certainly the players are a significant part of the programme and, uh, you know, we need, we need quality leaders. You mentioned Andy Fowler a, a minute earlier. You know him quite well, I think, from the Saxons in 2010. What is he going to bring to this uh, to the squad? Well, I think you look at Andy's record as a player, you know, whether it's rugby league or rugby union, you know, he's played at the highest level in both codes. Um, but he's also gone and coached at the highest level as well. So he's, you know, he's coaching at a, a premiership side that have won the, won the Viva Premiership. Um, he works with a very talented coaching team and very fortunate that Saracens, particularly through Mark McCall and Edward Griffiths, have allowed him to become available to England because, uh, um, you know, they've got a busy period coming up themselves. But in order... Um, for me to get the team I wanted, you know, they've been very generous in allowing that and I just think it brings huge credibility. Uh, I think the players will respond and respect him uh, and hopefully with him and Graham Roundtree, the other side of me, I've got a strong team. And Graham Roundtree as well, he's emerged from the World Cup with his reputation enhanced, I think. Um, how, how important is that continuity as well in his experience? Yeah, I, th I think it's very important. I think Graham's obviously knowledge from being out there, knowledge of the programme over the last four years, knowledge of international rugby having played there you know for so many times in elite sport through through his time at Leicester um, so collectively you know my my knowledge of being out in New Zealand and and everything that um, has been said subsequently you know we hope to to learn those lessons but actually move on you know uh, we want to get the culture right we want to ensure that we have a talented group of young players who are hungry for success who are ambitious who want to win things and it's our job as a coaching team to put that in place and make sure that uh, um, going forward, you know, we've got a successful foundation to build on towards 2015. And the World Cup, as you said, was disappointing. There's lessons to be learned there. How do you balance sort of the need for a fresh start with the fact that England won 10 of the last 13 games and won the Six Nations? It's yeah, and I, I, yeah, exactly. And I, th I think I think the point I think Conor Shea mentioned last week is that uh, you know what came out wasn't really a reflection of the game or the sport or the players or the management. You know, there were an awful lot of very good people I saw out in New Zealand who worked extremely hard and, you know, I'm sure there are seven other teams who didn't win the final who are also going through the same process of wondering what if and what we can do better. But our job is to, is to take the lessons, learn the lessons, but equally move on in a positive way and, and get, you know, the, the environment right because in, ultimately the, the uh, culture precedes performance. Get your culture right, get talented players, coach them well. I think we'll be well on track. And finally, Six Nations squad announced, I think, early January. Ultimately, who decides who's going to be in that? Well, me, I guess. <laughs> and uh, uh, the other coaches, 
and uh, I'm sure the people, you know, the directors of rugby will take on their views, but, but ultimately, yeah, it'll come down to the head coach. The head coach makes the responsibility and, uh, you know, it's a responsibility I'm not going to shy away from. You know, we've got a fantastic group of young players coming through. We have an opportunity to have a look at them and see how they get on on the international stage. Uh, and I don't think we should shy away from that.